Hi, I'm Garrett Town with AM Solar, and this is Dustin, one of our senior installers. Today we're going to be talking about phase three of the Epic Airstream project. Dustin's going to talk to us about some of the custom AC wiring he's done for this customer and his unique needs. He plans on having a uh, mobile sound studio, recording studio. Uh, Dustin. Tell us what you've done here. I'm seeing lots of very clean wiring. So this particular customer wanted a lot of outlets so he could plug in a lot of musical equipment and he wanted 20 amp, amp capability for his outlets. So we ran him individual lines for each of these outlet strips. Each of them are rated for 20 amps. We also have his DC house loads running back in this big piece of conduit. Okay, so this strip and the one below it, a total of 20 amps on that. Yep. And then, uh, this outlet right here. He also wanted a 20 amp outlet isolated for his washer and dryer that's gonna be in here. Okay, and what were you saying about DC connections, DC loads? We have his DC house loads running back in this big piece of conduit because okay. he left us no cabinetry to route through. Okay. Um, nice, clean, clean and neat, goes straight along the floor, curves with the airstream. We have it routed around and over his water heater. Okay. Nice and neat. We added five circuits to his AC panel, um, built boxes to conceal everything and match his cabinetry out of his old cabinetry that he had us remove. Oh yeah, some of you familiar with Airstreams may notice that it looks pretty sparse in here. Uh, the customer had us take all of his furniture, everything out, and didn't want it, so we repurposed some of it. Uh, you custom made this out of other Airstream? Yep, this was out of his sofa. There was a like sectional sofa in here, and I took a piece of it and made a, a box to cover up all of his DC connections in the front of his trailer, and extend them, extend his inverter output, run everything back to our system, which will eventually be under his bed. Okay, um, what's new in here? What didn't come factory? This, which is not ex ex not attached yet, is his DC extensions that's going to carry all of his connections back. This is a junction box where we extended his inverter output and we added another 15 amp outlet. Um, other than that, we mostly removed stuff. Um, Great, that looks really clean. Dustin, tell us what we have going on here. So to add all these outlets and all of his power needs, we added five extra circuits into his AC distribution and DC distribution panel here. Um, we exchanged some of his single circuit breakers for doubles. So we have more 20 amp breakers and we have a couple more 20 amps on this side and a 15 amp. Um, we disabled his converter because that will no longer be necessary. And that's this box down here. That is this box down here. Here's his DC connections for that. We bell cap those off and hide them. Um, we have the cover plate off because I haven't got a QC yet. We typically get two quality checks before we seal anything up here. Um, all the wiring that we added, we have strain reliefs to keep it nice, tight, and secure. In the back, we have everything color labeled so we can label it properly when we're done and we put the cover back on. Um, we have our AC cables right here getting ready to be wired up. And So this is going to go to the smart phase selector yep. and then to the inverter and to the battery bank. All right, looks great. Mark this airstream down by the river. James and Mitch are modifying the ZAMP folding panels to work in one string of 10 series connected panels. And instead of having parallel connected halves, we're gonna have series connected halves. This is gonna be much higher voltage than the panels were originally designed for, so we're doing some modifications to the junction boxes, changing out the wire. In our original plan was to have two different charge controllers with five panels each. We decided to do a single charge controller, and that allows the end user to decide if they wanna have one panel, or all 10 panels or any number in between and they can mix and match panels. It doesn't have to be one panel at the end or certain panels in the middle. Any panel they want, any order of panels, they can connect it to that port. I'm here with Alden, our senior installer that has more 
installation hours than anybody in the world. He's been doing this since about 2000. When did you start? I kind of started around 2008 is when I okay. started attacking along the other guys. Yeah, and you've been going hard ever since. Uh, he's currently putting the 1800 amp hour Victron smart lithium battery bank in here that will consist of three, no, of six 300 amp hour batteries configured in 24 volts. Uh, what are you using to secure the batteries? What's going to hold them in place? Well, I'm going to put straps on it to keep it from just kind of sliding around and just put put sliders on it, put borders put on it. Put the blocks on there to keep it from sliding? Keep it from sliding, then strap okay. it down. Okay, sounds great. 